Stanley Marsh, uh, you know, personally, professionally, not every which way you can. And I've really admired everything he's done. I admire him because he's someone who actually is out there saving lives, number one. That's the most important thing. He makes a difference that way. <laughs> Oftentimes, uh, when you have tournaments like this, or uh, special events that raise money, a portion of, it, of the proceeds go towards that cause. And as you know, 100% of the proceeds goes towards this research fund, uh, which is outstanding in itself. Um, <clears throat> not to mention that it's a great time here, uh, playing golf with some really good people that care about the cause. Without research, I don't well, know where we would be. Well, had two rounds of cancer, and Stanley and the Hillman Center have done phenomenal for her, and we want to support further people. Hey, Stan, thanks for having us out here today. Really great thing that you're doing to raise all this money, and we're just happy to be a part of it. And uh, just think the world of you. I'm still terrible at this game, but really appreciate being out here. So I have an endowed research fund. Um, and that fund is used to give money to young researchers with great, you know, innovative ideas, but who have difficulty getting funding because they're new at it. And, uh, you know, cancer research funding is really not um, easy to get any longer because the federal government's made it a lot harder. And so this enables young researchers uh, to get their projects funded and then hopefully uh, as a bridge to getting more funding once they produce favorable results. Uh, so we have a lot of brilliant young people at the UPMC Hillman Cancer Center with great ideas, but oftentimes their laboratories uh, can't get funded. So the purpose of this is to particularly support the young researchers. Needless to say, <laughs> This fund is now the largest research fund at our cancer center and a true credit to its architect, Dick Swanson. Just so you know, there, across the University of Pittsburgh, there are over 2,500 research funds. 2,500, obviously way beyond oncology. We're now in the top 1%. So again, <laughs> thanks to all of you and, and your support. Glad to be here tonight, honored to be here tonight. Um, it's always nice to come back to Highsfield. You know, it's like home for me. I see a lot of familiar faces out there. Um, but tonight's not about me. It's an incredible story, beautiful family uh, by Jimmy Hernandez, um, your father unbelievable people. Um, gives me great honor to introduce my award to you, Jimmy Shea Knight. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jimmy Hernandez. You know, I'm, I'm back home with my family, and none of this could be possible without great people like you, you know, raising money for a great cause, so thank you. It's my distinct pleasure to ask Nadine's daughter, Cynthia, to come forward to receive the first annual Perry Dick Swanson Humanitarian Award. I'd like to thank everyone this evening, certainly Stan. My mother thought the world of you, that she was so proud of your fr her friendship with you and the work that you do. And I know she's smiling down from heaven, and she's just very, so very, very pleased. Thank you.